Hello, Lakeland, and welcome to Good Morning, Lakeland. I'm Ms. Held. And I'm Alana. And we will be your anchors for today. Lakeland students, as a reminder to the first marking period ends today, please make sure to get all of your work in. Thank you. Seniors, senior sweatshirts are now on sale. They are $32 and on sale exclusively on eFunds. Make sure that you get yours today. The last day to buy one is November 16th. On behalf of Good Morning Lakeland, we would like to send two special shout outs to Mr. Perry and Mr. Rol Mrs. Rolando. Mr. Perry was recently named the 2023 Huron Valley Citizen of the Year, and Mrs. Rolando was named the 2023 Milford Memories Volunteer of the Year. Congratulations to both of them. Students, don't forget that there is no school on Tuesday, November 8th due to Election Day. If you are eligible to vote, please don't forget to vote. If you are interested in ordering a yearbook, pre-orders are encouraged for all students. Look for the pink flyers around the building and scan the QR code for a direct link that you can share with your parents. To all theater enthusiasts, there are two field trip opportunities in the theater Google Classroom coming up in the next month. A group of us will be going to see Milford's musical, White Christmas, on Friday, November 18th at 7 p.m. It is coming up in a little over two weeks. If you're interested, please reserve your spot by talking to Mrs. Hugaboom. The cost is $14. We hope many of you will join in supporting the arts program in Huron Valley. Seniors, if you missed the cap and gown meeting this past Wednesday, please stop by the main office to get a packet of information from the, from the meeting as soon as possible. It is very important that you pick it up. Well, as we approach the holiday season, it's time to start thinking about holiday hope for kids here at Lakeland. Here is a video showing just what the party is like. It's the marshmallow world in the winter When the snow comes to cover the ground It's the time for play It's a whipped cream day I'll wait for it the whole year round Those are marshmallow clouds being friendly In the arms of the evergreen tree And the sun is red like a pumpkin head everyone to be able to miss some class and participate in the party you have to do a few things one you must participate in the annual bullathon fundraiser on next saturday november 12th from 12 to 3 p.m at century bowl in waterford there's a 20 dollars minimum donation and it is six dollars to bowl three games and shoes so 26 dollars total but as always, we do take more if you would like to raise more funds for this program. Pledge sheets for the Bolathon are located in the main office and outside the leadership room A506 now. They will also take walk-in pledges at the Bolathon. Besides the Bolathon, you besides the Bolathon, you will need to either help wrap gifts on November 29th after school in the cafeteria or the party setup after school on December 7th. If you do one of those two events and the Bullathon, you can participate in the party during the school day on Thursday, December 8th. This program is a Lakeland tradition and leadership needs you to help keep it going. So please help some great students by participating in Holiday Hope for Kids this year. Well, it's time for some college visits. Next Wednesday, November 9th, Cleary University will be visiting. Also on November 9th, Adrian College will be here. On Friday, November 16th, Rochester College will be visiting. 
All of these visits are in the Career Center. See Mrs. Jeanette in the Career Center if you have any questions. Good luck to the Huron Valley Marching Band this weekend at the State Finals at Ford Field in Detroit. Congratulations to the following Lakeland High School Band members for being selected to the Eastern Michigan University Honor Band. Brendan Kornacki on flute, Samantha Schwartz on clarinet, Shelby Hamilton on clarinet, Rory Lochner on bass clarinet, and Kip Mowers on percussion. Great job. New NTHS members, please get your RSVPs to Mr. into Mr. Rolando for November 9th, NTHS induction ceremony. Returning members, if you would like to attend the induction ceremony, please let Mr. Rolando know as soon as possible. Also, so they can order enough food for the program. Thanks. The Veterans Day ceremony will be held Tuesday, November 15th in the CPA. Stay tuned for more information about the program and the change in the daily schedule for that day. In future, a Good Morning Lakeland broadcast. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Howe. And now it's time for sports. There will be a meeting November 9th right after school in the LGI room for any boy interested in the boys volleyball program. You will get to meet your coach, Coach Ferguson, and talk all about the team and season. Speaking of volleyball, congratulations to the girls volleyball team on winning their fourth tournament of the year this past weekend, winning the Grand Blank Invite. Also, the girls volleyball team started their trip in the state tournament this week. This past Tuesday night, they defeated Milford 3-1. Great job, girls volleyball. Finally for volleyball, congratulations to Rachel Zurich for being named Max Preps Volleyball Player of the Month for October for the state of Michigan. Congratulations. Congratulations to the Huron Valley United Girls Swim and Dive Team on defeating Notre Dame Prep 103-82 to on Seniors Night last week. The team finished the dual meet season with a record of 6-1 and 4-1 and in the LVC. Good luck to the team as they travel to the South Line East today and tomorrow for the Lakes Valley Conference Championship Meet. Good luck to the cross country teams this weekend at the state finals held at Michigan International Speedway. If you are interested in any winter sports information, please check out the Lakeland Athletics Facebook and web pages or visit the Lakeland Athletics office down by the fitness center. Thanks. Well, it's time for the anchor shout outs. First up is me. I'm going to shout out Mrs. Durham. Awesome. My shout out is to all the students who actually say good morning and give me a smile as I welcome them in. It makes my day. So due to no school next Tuesday, our next episode of Good Morning Lakeland will be next Friday, November 11th. We will see you then. Don't forget, we always post our episodes of Good Morning Lakeland on the LHS website at www.hbs.org backslash LHS. You can also find us on Instagram by looking for at LHS underscore GML. Give us a follow. Thank you, you for, for watching. watching. Good, Good morning, morning Lakeland, Lakeland and have, have a great, great day. day.